Hey, Hebrew fans, this is Todd. Wow, you, I cannot believe it. It has been almost a week since I've made a live video or any video. The last one I made is Monday. So one more day and it would have been a week. And I found out tomorrow I got things going on in the evening. So if I didn't make this tonight, it would have been a whole week since I um, made a video. So let me go and pull up the comments so I can see what you guys were saying. And... Delaxorian. Too bad it's bedtime. I'm sorry, man. I've been trying to get this video together all day long. Everything was been in my way today. It's just been crazy, crazy, crazy. And I'm not sure why my video hasn't started playing yet on my iPad. So let me go ahead and give it a moment. Just as hey Mike. Hey Mike, can you hear me? Let me know if you can actually hear me talking. Oh, it's playing fine here? Okay, great. Now it's starting. Now it's starting. Let me go and do a sound check. And, and. Sounds great. All right, so this first video is gonna be about battle armor. So we're gonna go ahead and put King Keldor down for now. We'll open him some other time soon, hopefully. And the, this figure was donated to me by one of our very own fans here on this site. Oh, thank you so much. My wife just brought me some ice water so we can do some face alterations to him. Let me go ahead and get a board out so I don't ruin my cool stuff I have going on here. Hold on a second. Oh, too much stuff in the way. Too much stuff in the way. There we go. All right, okay, Whoop. back to what we're doing. Okay, let's see. The last one said I actually found something out today. I got the Fight Features Winston and the Turtles of Grayskull Donnie. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this battle armor He-Man, He-Man, He-Man from Revolution. Now, what's interesting about this figure is that even though he's battle armor, I think they packed him out with the armor and without the armor. So let's go ahead and open him up and see if he has the regular armor inside. I, I believe he does. Um, and I saw someone with two boxes and they both said battle armor. But one of them had the other armor on. Which for people that are mint and box collectors, um, trying to collect both of them could be kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and... Well, you know, I should look at the back of the box first. Here's the back of the box and it shows him swinging the mighty axe. And then it shows he has his axe right there, or his regular armor, or his battle armor with a slash. Slashes. And here's all the figures in the line. We have He-Man, Mechanic, uh, Triclops, and King Kildor. And it's funny, is I had no plans on getting any of these except Triclops, and now I have these two too. Thanks to one of our very good fans here. And I don't see him on yet. Hey Charles, thanks for joining me. Kind of fitting since I heard Revolution was better. Sorry, Delaxorian. Just just watch this in the morning. And you can go back and watch all the fun we had without you. I remember as I was a kid one time. I was so tired. Oh, I could barely stay awake. And it was Friday night and the Incredible Hulk was going to be on. And they had a game on. And so my... Uh, the stepdad was watching the game, and the Hulk was supposed to be on afterwards. And I remember telling my mom, I said, please, please, please wake me up so I can watch the Incredible Hulk when the game is over. And she never woke me up. And I was like, ah, no. But I, I guess it didn't actually play. I was I was being so upset those Saturday morning. Anyway, let's just open a small little spot here and see the accessories he comes with. Uh, it's not made for big hands. Here are the accessories. And we got some ham hock fists. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Wonder Twin Powers activates. Hey, Charles. Wow. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. We have some armor here, and it's made differently, it looks like, than the other He Man armor we had in the past. I'm surprised that it just didn't use the same armor we had before. And then we have a plate. Actually, that looks really good. I did not know they are going to make the scratch so deep. I like that. I like it. 
All right, let's throw this paper away. And let's go ahead and pull out Battle Armor He-Man, He-Man, He-Man. So, has anybody else got this figure yet? And if you did get this figure, um, did it come packed out wearing his Battle Armor? Or did it come packed out wearing his normal armor? I want to know if anybody else has got one wearing the normal armor. If it's just, if I'm just wrong. If I'm wrong, it's not the first time. Ask my wife, she'll tell you I've been wrong many 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 times before it's funny it's like i've been wrong more than i've been married than before i was married you're just not wrong as often before someone points it out to you oh look at that axe that is beautiful it is just reminiscent of the other axe we had back in the 80s and it's got an awesome shine on the blade i like the bluish gray color that is one beautiful axe Axe. He's an axe man. All right, hold on a second. Let me grab the other He-Man for a minute. Where is he? Oh, he fell over. Uh. Now, I just noticed something interesting is I thought the axe was the same, but it is not. I thought just the paint job was different. It is actually a different shape than the other axe. The top is different. The blade is wider. Look at that. Click a tat. Interesting. Interesting. Stand, he man, stand. Okay, you guys already know this, but I wish they had two of these regular right-handed bracelets on there so you can choose to put his hands that way if you want to with the two regular bracelets like they had in the 1980s He-Man cartoon. Usually I try to buy two figures just so I can do that. As you guys have seen in the past that I've usually replaced this with um, two bands. Actually, did he come with two bands or did I do that on this one? I don't remember. I don't recall. Oh, well. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at and break down his articulation. We have ankle articulation. We have our boot cup. Hey, Eric. And we have uh, double jointed knees. Ooh, ooh. We have a thigh cut. We got his leg moves up and down the side here. We have uh, wrist articulation. Oh, up and down. Look at that. So you can hold the sword aloft and point his sword at Battle Cat and Cringer. Double jointed elbows. Oh, no, not the double jointed elbows. Then we have the bicep cut and the shoulder. Now, I was excited when we got this guy because uh, he had the single jointed elbows. And I thought this might be a new trend. We'll see if he does or not. Yes, I stole his head and I put it on classics, in case you're wondering. Ha! Ah, it's the headless horse. Headless horseman. It's the headless elephant man. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I'll set him aside. And, uh, let's see. And then we have, of course, his head moves. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And you can see the size difference between these figures. Obviously, this armor is not going to fit on this massive body of the, um, 40th anniversary He-Man. The 40th anniversary He-Man. All right, let's take his armor off because that's what we want to see. And it looks like it opens in the front. <clears throat> there we go. Ooh. Now, does the top come off too, or is it just, yep, it comes off as well. Pachink, pachink. Now he does have quite the chin going on there. I've seen online people fixing the chin. But you can see his chest is just a whole lot smaller than the massive 40th anniversary chest. But he's still a pretty good looking figure. I like the way they designed him. He looks pretty good. And then of course you want to do the battle damage. You pop this one out. Oh, it pops out in front. Oh, you don't have to take the armor off to swap it out. With the uh, classics one, you have to pull the armor off in order to swap it out. Now it does look like it's easier to, when you, cause you can pop it off easier, but it still changes in the front. So if you had some way to 
firmly grasp it. And it obviously only goes on one way. There is the battle damage. Battle damage. Let's try this armor on. Armor on. It's got kind of a silvery look to it instead of just gray. That's kind of cool. And I do like the way it plugs in. It works much better than uh <clears throat> Oh, fit, fit. Why won't you fit? That is tight. What do we have going on here? Let's try it again. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh well. I'm gonna heat it up and before I break it. All right, let me dig in my pile of figures down here. That's not the one. Oh, my light's blocking. Sorry, you guys. There we go. Okay, so here was the other armor, the original one we had. I know I stuck it on a Classics figure because I, not Classics, I put it on. And you can see the straps are thicker on here, which I like better. It's a bigger, bulkier armor. And you know what? I actually did like these better than these. So I like the fastening of the old one better, but I like the aesthetics of the front of the new one better. So you can see the squares are bigger and it just looks better. Anyway, let's get my hot water over here. Hot water, ice water. Oh, my battery already died. I can figure out why it was so dim in here. Dead battery pack, time to re get a different one. Okay, plug in these lights, activate four circles let's turn them on there we go now we got some good light going on big guy from the oh hey james thanks for joining us the sludge mast sludge master long live classics okay so let's go and heat this up Erp. Where is my, there they are. Couldn't find my tongs because they're right there on the side of it. And now that it's heated up, let's go ahead and stick it on now. Should fit no problem now. So again, it's nice that they just have them so they just pop in place, but in reality, I did like the um, straps better that could be adjusted. Because then you could, you could stretch them and put them on another figure or whatever, but it's not bad. I do like this part way better, the way that looks. He's got quite the traps on top. All right, let's address the head. So the head, what everyone's saying about the head is that it is, chin is way too long. I don't know, I don't think it looks that bad. Let's go ahead and try that fix people talk about. Charles has his Cyclone coming Tuesday, nice. I got my Cyclone, I haven't opened the box yet. The box is still just sitting in there. So let's check that out later. All right, let's go ahead and dunk his head. Boop. Dunkin' Donuts. Bom, bom, bom. Did he not come with a sword? He has no sword? I mean, the axe is cool, don't get me wrong. I love the axe, but I'm surprised he doesn't have a power sword. His head already looks better just sitting in there with the angle of the water on there. And that's what we're gonna try to shape it to look like in a minute. You know, it's kind of funny how you can change how it looks. Roop, roop. I had this one water toy when I was a kid. You'd push a button and little balls would go around and it had the hippos, heads, or you know, a crazy thing. And one time I took the water out and I realized all the little things inside were so small. I had no idea how small they were. Okay, let's get his head off there. And what they're saying is you just take this head and you go burp and just jam it down. Jam on it. I see it's very pliable when it's in this state right here. So so you just push the chin. And once you have the chin pushed, you then dunk it in ice water to keep the, the um, shape. Ooh, 
burr, burr, burr. Oops. Looks like I shifted his jaw to one side. <laughs> Bad jaw surgery. Okay, it's time to reheat it again. This time it won't be quite so rambunctious. Ah, oh, another headless figure. I really wish they would Masterverse Turtles of Grayskull. Todd, try the Classics Vintage He-Man face on that one. Do you mean do you mean this one right here or the other head? I don't have the other head out right now. Ah, give us a Kuma. Yes. Bad jaw surgery. Okay, let's try this again. It's funny. In Star Trek, he always had Bones saying, Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a whatever he needed. Well, I'm not a doctor, so not good at the plastic surgery here. I think I got it straight now. Urgh, into the freezing water. Oh, we shall freeze your head. Freeze your head. There we go. I guess that looks a little better now that it's straight. I mean, not spectacularly better, but a little better. Fills his hair up a little more. But now I gotta pop this back on and it's cold. We'll see how I got it on. There we go. Now, as you guys know, many years ago, I did the same thing with all of my 2000X um, feet. He won't get brain freeze. Let me go and show you a quick site. Let me go to it on my tablet here. Now, if you guys have never been there before, you can go to uh, he he uh, dash bro dot com. He dash bro dot com. Here we go. Here's my site. He dash bro dot com. And once you're there, you can go to customs. And once you're in customs, I should have a leg fix on here. Burr, burr. Where is it? I guess I got to go to customs here. And I had something called leaning or falling figures. I don't see it. Okay, let me scroll down again. What? Hmm. Maybe I didn't put it in customs. Well, I would have been in new ideas. Reproduction, rubber sheets. Okay, let me go slower this time. Battle cat stirrups, lighted eyes. Hmm. Let's try figure fix it instead. Figure fix it. Oh, there we go. Leaning or falling figures 2000X. So in here, I had a bunch of figures and the only way to get like Prince Adam to stand was to lean him way back. And the problem was, is their to toes were pointing up and you could see the angle of the toes there. So what I did was I boiled them in hot water. I held them straight and then stuck them in freezing water and stuck them all in the freezer. And you could see them all in the freezer, all sitting there. My wife's like, what the heck? And you could see how they were before having to bend really far back. And once you fix the ankles, they could then stand up straight. And you could see the foot. Here's the before that came out of the package. And here's the after. Now, slowly as time went on, um, sitting in my shelf, the foot slowly cranked back over to the way it was. But for a little while, even Trap Jaw could stand up straight. He's got that big old heavy gun on him. I actually froze all the figures and made all their feet face forward. So I'm thinking the face is gonna do the same thing. With time, it's gonna slowly revert back to the way it was. But bending the rubber is not a new idea. I mean, the first time I did it, 
This is my X-Wing Luke Skywalker figure. And I remember uh, I had him next to our heater and I could bend his arms in all kinds of positions and then freeze them and then I could uh, repurpose how I wanted him to, to look. But yeah, this is an old, old site. Yeah, look, last time it was updated was uh, 2015, even though it was probably more than that. That's probably when I changed the title on it or something. Anyway, let me get back to the video. The video, so I can see your guys' comments. Oh, well that didn't work. There we go. Play. There we go. All right, back to the video. Hey, J Jamie. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Mike. Thanks for joining us. Yes, the feet worked really good for a while, but I'm guessing slowly as time goes on, his chin's going to start to go back just like those feet did on those uh, figures. But it did work good for a little while. I think they st stood that way for like like at least a couple months before they started falling back over again. But anyway, oh, I love this new axe. Oh. Okay. So, what do I think of the figure? Um, I think his face is a lot better looking than what we saw with the um, Thunder Punch He-Man that just was re revealed. That face looks awful. And I don't know if the real figure is going to look that way or not. But... We shall see how that ends up looking. I like the fact that they have both battle armor and regular in the same box. And so it's not like uh, we saw with classics where their silver belly was painted on there. I'm just curious. It's not going to fit. There's no way it's going to fit. His chest is wider than that Masterverse chest. Just for kicks. Let's just see. Let's just see. Oh, you know what? He doesn't come apart. I could yank on him all day long and just end up breaking him. Okay. Give me a figure. We will try this one here. Uh, you know, he's too good. Never mind. We will try. Ah! Here's the Thunder Punch. Turn back to a regular E Man. That's funny. Okay. Oop. And let's see if we can put the battle armor. I don't know why I pulled his legs off. Unnecessary. Unnecessary, Mr. Todd. Hey, Jamie. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Like I said, it's been almost a week since I made a video, so my uh, numbers have been dwindling down really low. Really, really low. Okay, here we go. Zoop. Oh, no way. Ugh. It's a little tight around the neck. Where's the back? Where did I throw the back? There it is. Can we do it? Will it fit? Okay, let's put your head off for right now, he man. We'll put it back on later. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put this together first. And now that's together. Now we will. Mm. Mm. Oh, it does fit on there a little awkwardly. Oh, tight fit. Ugh. So he's got like a monster gap in his back right here. When you put it on, it's pulling really tight against his back. If you were to take and sand this out with your Dremel tool right around the neck, it'd probably work just fine. Because that's the problem is the back's not going all the way up and it's pulling. But a little bit of cut right around here would probably fix that problem. So if you wanted to make a really cool Battle Armor He-Man for your Origins, you could. But again, you're going to want to take and sand this. I'm not going to sand it because I, I don't want to destroy this yet maybe later some other day but not today man i had a another black little uh dealy bob in his head to raise it up a little bit because his armor needs a little bit extra height i think Maybe not. 
I forget why I put that in there. Maybe just his neck was loose. So, does the battle armor fit? A little modification, it should fit. I'm not modifying it today, but I might in the future. In the future. All right, so let's talk a little bit of business really quick and then I'll get back to the figure. So I've had a lot of people ask me about these helmets. I've had people come out of the woodwork saying, Todd, you're gonna make more of these helmets for your Masterverse cat. And I kept saying, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe. So today I ran three of them and out of three of them, two didn't work and one actually did work. And so one of them worked. I got two more running on the printer right now. And so I may have a small number of these going up for sale soon because people keep asking. It's only people ask me about them. And so I might have a slow, a small number of these coming up. Worst case scenario, I'll have two at least for sale. But uh, this looks so much better. Now, of course, I'm selling them unpainted. Sorry for those that want the painted ones. Got to paint them yourself. But... Um, some people just like them like this. It's clear. It looks really cool. Yeah, I was selling them painted at first, but it was such a hassle. I just gave up painting them. If you want, I will make a video showing what paints to use to match them. So you know what paints to order if you want to match the saddle exactly. I did get them matched at, um, at, uh, Sherman, Sean Williams, I think it was, and they did match my paint to the right color. I know for a while I was taking and just painting the, the base color on for some people, so it already, they'd already have it, but I'm even not even doing that. I'm just slacking all the way around. i just been so busy trying to get things done. I just finished mailing off uh, 15 of those uh, little pieces for the um go between the castle and the uh, um and the point dread so most of you guys will be getting those soon i think somebody said they're getting it thursday i'm not sure but i mailed them all the same day i mailed them all friday so you should you should be getting that hey mike thank you so much jeff said that is the classic head to use okay let's give it a shot Let's get this off of there. Boop. Oh, it's a tight fit. I have to heat it up first. Kaplunk. Do do do. It's a little loose. Hmm. Interesting. You can see his chin's already starting to go down a little bit. I probably should have left it longer in the freezing water, but that's fine. Let's see. Do you like my custom paint Snake Mountain vintage, Eric says? Yes, your custom Snake Mountain looks really cool, Eric. You did a good job on it. Even Z Dynamo Head. There we go. Yep, quite the improvement. So if you can buy one of those heads, it does look a whole lot better. Let's throw the battle armor back on him. Just to see. I'm going to put the un unbroken one on there. Now at first I didn't like how far the battle armor stuck out past his chest, it was kind of weird. But in reality it makes sense because now you got a ways to hit before you hit skin. So I guess that makes sense. His hair's a little bit in the way there. There we go. All right, let's have some fun. What the heck? Let me pull his head off for a minute. Let's pull his arms off. Give me the armor. And let's throw on some classic arms on him. I've seen people do it online. I haven't tried it yet. Let me get my box of He-Man parts. And let's see if we can't uh, 
do some other stuff with this guy. Hold on. Let me go grab that box. So I got a, uh, um, him, and uh, I'm gonna use him so I can put the same armbands back on. So you will see how that looks. He taught Battleground, well, Battle Armor He-Man is the best, wait, Battle Armor He-Man on the hot water. Then squeeze the head. Yes. Yep, yep, I did that actually earlier, Cutler. Thanks for uh thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. Yeah, we have that's why we have the ice water here, because we actually did that earlier to the head. Earlier in the video. My hot water is not as hot as it needs to be. I may not be able to get the arms off this guy. We shall see. Ular. We'll put you down deep in the water to see if we can get that heated up. Meanwhile, let's pull off ugh, his band here. Band on the run. All right, it's gonna take a while, so my water's getting pretty cold. I may have to get fresh water before we actually do this feat. Charles is asking if you're going to see the eclipse tomorrow. Well, I do plan to look outside. My original plan was actually to go to Texas, and it was on my phone to remind me, and my uh, youngest son and I were gonna go, go, go see it. We actually went to see the one in uh, Oregon a number of years ago, that was pretty cool. But I'll just look outside. Not not as as big a deal as it used to used to be because my son was really into that and now that he's growing up, moved out, gotten married. It's just not the same without the kids doing it too. Let's see, James Justice says, I wonder if the company will ever make a new version of Savage He-Man. Um, you are the most powerful customizer in the universe. Could make a new version from the Sledge Master. Yes. Yeah, they did have that one they had that was released with Orko and Masterverse. Where we had that Savage He-Man. Let's see, did it get hot enough? Oh, not quite. Okay, I'm gonna have to go make some quick, quick hot water. You guys hang out here for a second and look at my mess, messy pile. And you can look at the cool helmet too while you're at it. I'll be right back with some hot water. All right, I got the hot water on. It should be boiling soon. Quick, someone grab a He-Man. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Yeah, it is a cool helmet. I, I like it way better than the other one. Way better than this one. Ah, uh, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? Well, light burned out or ran out of battery power. Let me get another one here. 
Time for the BB light. All right, let me go dump my water and I'll put the yucky helmet up here so you guys can look at it. Oh, it was not smart to touch the hot plate. So what I do here is if you look at my glass on the bottom here, this is actually a uh, thermal um, material that's used for your, um, for your um, chips in your computer. And I cut it out the same shape as the glass and stuck it inside the, the, ga the gap in there. And then I just have a thermal plate here. Because this cup had a small little indent in that area right there, so to fill the indent in, that's why I use that thermal stuff to transfer the heat right to the glass. So there we go. I don't think the helmet is bad. I think the eyes need to be repainted different. Yeah, that would make a difference. It's just, I don't know, when I first looked at this cat, the first glance I looked at him, I thought, what is going on with that helmet? And I remember telling everybody online when I saw it, you know what, I'm making a helmet like the old one. It just drives me crazy. And so that is why I designed this helmet here. And it fits on nice and tight. <laughs> See, you just, most of them don't fall off. Once in a while, one will fall off. But uh, it works rather nice. Now granted, it's clear red right now, but like I said, I'll make a video to show you guys what paints to use. All right, my water should be boiling by now. Let me go grab it and pour it in the cup. I'll be right back with some fresh hot water. Thanks, Nomsky. All right, let me go grab that hot water. Well, they say a watch pot never boils. Uh, sure enough, when you're waiting for something, it just takes forever. Forever! So, let's see. I guess while we're waiting, I could talk about my Prince Adam. So, I had this Prince Adam. He is armless now. And I cleaned off the paint on him. It was driving me crazy because it was all crusting. And his arms are now kind of yellowish. I'm like, no! So, I'm not sure. I think... When the sun comes back out in the summertime, I'm planning on using some stuff on here and put it in the sun in order to try to turn them white again. Because you can see the difference between his chest and his arm, the color difference. Just drives me crazy that it's just yellowed for no reason. No reason whatsoever. All right, I'm gonna go check that water again. Let's see, actually Charles sometimes just let the sink water run and heat up. That works sometimes. Sometimes it does. Sometimes. All right, let me grab that water. 205 degrees is the key. My water is boiling, boiling and boiling. I will stick them in here before I drop the pot back off. All right, we're right back so I can get rid of this. Okay, here we go. Finally. Finally. And I have found if I use large figures and keep dumping them in here, the water does cool down pretty quick, which kind of stinks. But now with this super, super hot water, it should get those arms off pretty quick. 
Let's see how close it is now. Whoop, whoop, and dripping water. Let's get his hands off first. Oh yeah, look at that. Now let's try to pull the arm. Oh yeah, see when it's hot, it's so much easier. This arm's not quite enough yet. We got one, we got one. Wow, that is a tight fit. Ugh. And now his cuff. Do, do, do. And his hand. Uh, get back on their hand. Okay, I have to heat his arm back up. Part of the problem is uh, if they're both the same temperature, signs it's hard to put it together. So I have found sometimes running cold water under the stem works better for inserting. There we go. I wonder what his actual, no, they're way too long. Hooray. Do -do 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 -do. Charge. Oop. Little more heat, just a little bit. What's the deal with the double elbows anyway? Oh, look what they did to the bicep. Look at that, it just looks awful. They, they took and chopped the bicep up. It looks horrible from the front with that little line right there. It just drives me crazy how it looks. Double jointer knees, they look better than these because these have the knees broken in half and that's always bugged me too, but the double jointed elbows. See, look how nice and rounded his bicep is. Ooh, ah. Uh. Mm. 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 There we go. Oh, armor first. Armor first. Dun 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 dun. All right, and here's how you make your ultimate. Uh, oh, almost, almost. Now I gotta admit, these classics arms do look short on him. I don't know if I'm a fan of those arms looking so short because he is taller. And they also wrench up tighter into his uh, shoulders. There we go. Not a fan of the pinholes, but the biceps look so much better. All right. So there is your ultimate, ultimate with his shorter arms. You know what? They're not shorter. They're just more muscular. So they look shy. So it's a little bit shorter. Never mind. Yeah, they're like a, like, like a quarter of an inch shorter. Yeah, the bracers do look cool. All right, there we go. Is that what you wanted to see with the other head on there? Jeff, does this satisfy you? Oh. Let's see, O'Connell, Cutler O'Connell says, I'm not a fan of the classics arms, but I recommend you do it with Thunder Punch He-Man. It's arms. I think the skin tone would match better. Yeah, I'm not gonna leave him this way. Um, his figure's too important to take his arms off. I was just wanted to show you, just show you guys. So he is gonna actually lose all his classic parts. 
because I want his classic parts used on my actual figures. Oh, here he is. I couldn't find my figures. He were in the wrong head. Dude. I'm going to pull these arms back off. Just want to show you how cool it looked first. I'd be afraid to put this armor in hot water, though, to tell you the truth. I don't know, because it's so thin, if it would survive the hot, hot water or not. Backed to normal for you. Hmm. I did have them backwards. There we go. Interesting. They're very hard to tell which is which is which. Charles says Battle Armor He-Man is his favorite. Yes, when I was a kid, that was my first He-Man figure was Battle Armor He-Man. So he's kind of always been more He-Man to me than the one with the straps, but the straps one kind of grew on me, so I ended up uh, liking it as time went on. That's one thing about Ular, is using his arms to uh, make custom figures with the different armbands. That's why I have a bunch, because where is my box? This is my 2000 Xbox of custom pieces. So what I do is I cut off these armbands and put them on Ular to make, see, you can see this guy's lost his. Oh, I lost my arms. Bunch of extra legs broken off. But yeah, I've, uh, I was going to make one of these guys one time in Classics because somebody wanted me to, but I, I never did. All right. Let's pull these arms out and put them all back together. Right. Right. Yeah. And put his right hand in. Oh, I forgot his. And we got our left. Armband. Just look at that. Look at that. It just looks awful. And see, when they did it this way, it doesn't look quite as bad. It just looks cleaner and how it should a little more. Now, granted, I wish the bicep still had a little more oomph to it on the front, a little more cut in the back, but it still looks better than than this here. Ular, Ular. You know what? I should try the battle armor on Ular to see if it fits. I don't think it will, but let's give it a shot. Since we have them sitting out here. Alright, it's a little bit of a tight fit. I can see that already, and it shows too much belly there. So you definitely have to cut the neck around. Yep, you gotta cut the neck around. But you know what? It might fit on there after you cut the neck around. A little bit of belly showing though, but not terribly. Interesting. All right. Dr. Frankenstein, I presume. Yeah, I put him back to normal. Mm, mm, mm. 
One last thing. Let's put his regular armor back on him. Now I know in classics their idea was that he's got his battle armor by transforming his sword like Shira does into his battle armor. But we saw in the cartoon that Andrea gave him the battle armor sheet to put over the top of his armor. And then he pushed it and went all around him like Tony Stark. I never even put his axe in his hand. There we go. Oh. All right, that is it. You guys, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, let's see if I got any questions on here. Let's see, also meant chest plate, stupid autocorrect. I used the left armor on the right arm on my fisto. Nice. Yes. Battle Armor He-Man is cool. Yep. James Justice, also known as a Sludge Master, says, Yes, the biceps do look awful. Um, looks like the biceps been torn. And he would know. He's a bodybuilder. He's monstrously huge. He looks like, like He-Man himself. And so he would definitely know. I can't believe he came to come with a sword. Where's my sword? Yeah, his chin's already starting to go back down again from when I first did it. They should give He-Man butterfly joints. Nice, that would be cool. He-Man is super strong, but his skin's still human. It get cut. I suppose it could. I'm looking for Origins Wind Raider. Nice, Charles. All right. Figman 4, I'll see you too. Dr. Todd Stein. Oh. Yeah. If you guys get a chance, check out J James Justice's channel. Uh, he's got some great workout tips and some really cool stuff. He holds the record. Let me get this straight. For how many times you can hit a sledgehammer, a hundred pound sledgehammer, hundred pound against a tree stump. And he holds the world record under so much time. It is really cool. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me. And like I say in the 1987 movie, good journey. And I will see you guys next video. And I need to get to sleep. My wife is wondering what's taking me so long. So I will talk to you next video and let's see. Have you seen my comment? I saw some of them, Eric. I didn't probably see all of them. It's kind of hard to see everyone's comment. There's so many. But yes, I do like the way you painted your Snake Mountain. It looked really good. All right. Bye now.